All right guys, Ultimate Learning back again with another video. But in this video today, we're gonna to be looking at one of the craziest metals that I've ever seen. And this metal is called gallium. All right then guys, so gallium is a metal and in the periodic table, you would find gallium in group three. That just means that gallium's got three electrons in its outer shell. And if we take a look at gallium, it's a silverish metal that's a solid at room temperature. But the interesting property about gallium is that it has a really low melting point. In fact, it melts at just 30 degrees. Guys, to melt gallium, we can just place it into a bowl of just warm water. And there we have guys, 150 grams of pure liquid gallium. Now liquid gallium actually feels quite weird to touch and you can see that it's more dense than water that's why it's sunk to the bottom but we can actually start to play with the gallium in the water. If I try to grab the gallium with my fingers, it doesn't work, can't get a good grip. So if I want to take the gallium out of the bowl, I've got to use a syringe. play with this gallium and it feels quite weird and you can see that it leaves this silverish remain that I can just scrape with my fingers it kind of reminds me of mercury but gallium's not toxic so it's perfectly safe to touch Remember when playing with gallium, you get this grey residue left on your hands. But this can easily be washed off with just some soapy water. Alright guys, one of the main uses of gallium is to make LEDs um, and used in semiconductors. But today we're going to be using gallium just to make a few moulds. And I've got some plasticine here, which we're going to press out. And we're going to take a mould of a key. See if I can make a gallium key. Let's see how this mold turns out. Let's see if the gallium can produce as close a copy to the key as possible. Just have to leave our gallium key uh, to set and then we'll come back and see how well it turned out all right guys i thought it'd be cool to see if we could make a gallium spoon and see what happens if we place it into a hot drink so i've got a mold here um, for some spoons i'm just going to place some of our gallium into one of these molds sure that the gallium goes around equally. And there you have it. Our 
gallium spoon. And we're gonna see what happens when we place it into a hot drink later on. All right guys, so our gallium mold is now ready. Uh, we put it in the fridge just to speed up the cooling down process. And we can see, look, that our gallium has solidified again. And I'm just gonna take the gallium key out of the mold. I did spill some when we put it in the fridge. But let's just compare the gallium key to our actual key. And you can see, look, that the Yale sign has transferred really well, but not the teeth. The teeth of the key haven't really transferred too well. I think I put too much gallium in the mold. And what's actually funny is that the gallium is fairly hard, but you can see if you apply some force, you can actually bend the gallium. I don't know if this would still work in someone's lock. All right, guys, this is the one that everyone's been waiting for, the gallium spoon. And you can see, look, in our mold, that the gallium is set really well our silverish metal. It's now a solid at room temperature again. I'm just going to take the gallium spoon out of the mold. And I think this is a really good copy of a teaspoon. All right then guys, we're going to see what happens when we put our gallium spoon into some hot water. Magicians used to use this called the disappearing spoon trick. I've exposed the trick now, it's just gallium. So we've just done another experiment with gallium, one of the most interesting metals in a periodic table. Remember what we've learned today, that gallium's in group three, which means it has three electrons in its outer shell. We also use gallium in LEDs and semiconductors. But today we've just used gallium to make different molds and then melt those molds in hot water. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Click like, tap the subscribe button. All right guys, see you again.